I'm here with Catherine Arnston, who I'm so delighted to interview. I've heard such great things, Catherine, <laughs> about your information, your knowledge. I've read a lot of your materials um, through Energy Bits, and I'm like, dang, like she's definitely, you know, throwing down, which my community loves. Like they love to get, you know, all the science and oh, the nitty gritty. Great. So this is going to be perfect. Oh, um, tell us a little bit about you and how you got into the business and the passion uh, of algae. Yes. Well, I, I tell people, you know, I didn't pick algae, it picked me. 15 years ago, my younger sister in Canada, who I am very close to, developed breast cancer. Uh, first of all, I want everyone to know that she survived her cancer and we celebrate her being cancer free now tw for 12 years. But at the time, her oncologist recommended she change her diet to an alkaline diet because she said it would help with her healing. They didn't tell her what it was or why particularly it was good for her. So she called me her big sister who loves her and I'm just a good researcher. So I went online and found out alkaline diets because I didn't know anything about nutrition, just like the rest of us. Uh, it's a, basically a plant-based diet because of the phytonutrients and the chlorophyll that build your immune system. And she was going through chemo. So she wanted her to have a strong immune system. So uh, she did do chemo. She did change her diet. She's still an alkaline diet. Um, and in the process of helping her research foods, I learned about plant-based nutrition. This was 15 years ago, remember? Nobody was talking about plant-based nutrition then. So um, I gave up my corporate career thinking I needed to help other people learn about it. And I did not know what I would find, but I just looked at everything you know more extensively that I'd found from my sister. And when I got to algae, that's when I, the miracle happened because algae... First of all, it's the most alkaline food in the world, the most uh, nu nutrient dense food in the world. NASA says it has a thousand times more nutrition than any other food in the world. It's been endorsed by NASA uh, since 1976, or sorry, United Nations since 1976 is the answer to world hunger because it's the highest protein in the world, three times the amount of steak. It's endorsed by all these international agencies. It's There's 100,000 studies documenting all of the health benefits of algae use. Everything I tell you is absolutely documented, proven in science. I don't say anything that's not proven. And uh, I'm still, I'm the chief scientific officer, so I'm constantly researching and learning more about algae. And it's stunning to me. It's, there's nothing in the world like algae. It is going to truly save our world. It will certainly save your life, If certainly if you want to uh, it will extend your life uh, for so for health reasons, longevity reasons. And I'll just share my little personal algae story while she's okay. getting set up. I started to use chlorella when I was detoxing from mold and I was getting this IV therapy and they're like, your blood is thick and dark. Yeah. <laughs> I was, and they didn't give me any advice on what to do about it. So I was like, let me look into like what I can do for that as a, as an acupuncturist. You know, we talk about blood builders in Chinese medicine and, um, and I found chlorella for, you know, detox and nutrition. Yeah. Like we're going to talk about today, yeah. not your brand. I don't know if you're established yet, but I didn't know about you. So I've been excited to learn about some of the quality yeah. differences on brands. And now I've been taking the recovery bits and the energy bits every day for, a, a three or four months, three, at least three months now. Yeah. And I read a, a bunch of your literature, which is again, nice. amazing. Um, and I just was really excited to share it because I think yeah. it could be a, a good solution on a lot of levels for our client. Yeah. Like, yes, it's good for everyone on the whole world, but all, you know, our particular clientele, maybe supplement intolerant, really needing nutrition, uh, really facing a toxic load. Um, yeah. Fantastic. So Great. I'm just well, excited to have you here. Thank you. I've been taking it for 13 years, so uh, I couldn't live without it. So let's let's keep going if that's okay. okay here we go. Um, so we're talking about why, you know, you know, wellness is the on the front page of everything. But the problem is we're not well um, and heart disease and cancer are causing 40 percent of all deaths. And um, as you're going to find out, uh, uh, both algae, spirulina and chlorella are documented to prevent both of them. So both of them documented. This isn't conjecture. This is scientifically proven. So if you know anybody who is concerned about heart disease or cancer, that would be all of us, or anybody who has it, please, please, please get them on both of these algae, particularly spirulina, immediately. Because um, we're not well. 50% uh, of Americans have a chronic health condition. And it, when you're over 65, that goes up to 80%. That's absolutely crazy. 
So um, almost everybody has some kind of issue, whether it's pain, fatigue, weight gain, gut health, immune health, chronic disease, and that's what they come to you for. Um, but the issue is that they're not realizing is many of these symptoms, these are symptoms of a deeper issue. And the deeper issue is your mitochondria. Your mitochondria are sick. And when they're sick, you're sick. And the worst part is when the mitochondria DNA are sick. And you go, well, how do they get so sick? How do they get so damaged? Well, they, they're damaged by free radicals and inflammation. And those are caused by two main things. You are not, they're not getting the nutrients they need and there's too many toxins. Those two things, missing nutrients and excess toxins cause 99% of all of your mitochondria disease, which causes 90%, 99% of all of your aging and your immune health and other issues. So today I wanna to walk you through why algae improves both your mitochondria and your health. So we're gonna talk about what algae is, what mitochondria are, how healthy mitochondria will improve your wellness, how algae protects your mitochondria and therefore your health, and why our algae tablets are the safest and the highest quality in the world. So first of all, algae has been around for a long time. It was the first life on earth. The first life on earth, you can only be the first once. It's been here for 4 billion years. And um, it's been consumed in Asia for 75 years. It's an agricultural crop there that's as big as the beef industry. It's also keto, vegan, paleo, the highest protein in the world, highest chlorophyll in the world, the highest everything in the world. And, and it's endorsed and studied and documented in over 100,000 studies. That's a big number. We're not talking one or 10 or 100 or 1,000. 100,000 studies pretty much tells you it's on lockdown for science. It's endorsed by NASA, by the United Nations. It's safe for every single age from newborns to grandparents, even pets love it. And it is a multi-billion dollar food crop in Asia. So first of all, yes, algae is a food crop. There is algae, there's two main types of algae. There's microalgae and macroalgae. We're talking about microalgae, but let me tell you what macroalgae is. It's that seaweed. It's also known as seaweed or kelp, and it's grown in the sea. It's a stringy and has lots of iodine, but virtually no nutrition in it. Zero nutrition, lots of fiber, uh, but it's only in the sea. We're talking about microalgae, which is called microalgae because it's microscopic in size. A million of these would fit on the head of a pin. That's how tiny they are. And microalgae is everywhere. Macroalgae is only in the sea. Microalgae is in the lakes, the rivers, the streams, the soil, your swimming pool. And yes, it's also grown as food crops. The two that are grown are spirulina and chlorella. I'm showing you pictures of spirulina and chlorella farms. This is not a supplement. Hey, it Catherine, is... we yes. are still seeing the first slide. Are you kidding? Um, no. Oh, I'm now like on my 10th slide. I know. I thought something's wrong. You should have told me. Um, all right. Let's try. I, don't, I don't. There we go. How funny. Well, okay, now we're on the right side. Okay, well, then I'm not going to be able to have um, the screen, the slideshow, the full screen, because if, if that, because when I do full screen, um, you're not seeing the rest of the screen. Yeah, and we're not seeing it full screen okay. anyway. So let's just stick with this. Okay, all right. So now you can see the farms. Maybe I can make this a bit bigger. Maybe this will, um, sorry, as I say, I've never used this system before. Um, spirulina and chlorella are grown in fresh water. So number one, it's a food, not a supplement. Number two, it's not from the ocean. It's grown in fresh water. Um, and ours is triple filtered spring mountain water, which is very important because it's, keeps the um, algae really, really, really safe. So very, very important. Do you understand you're eating food, not a supplement and something that came from a fresh farm. So it's called a hydroponic. It's sort of like how um, broccoli or lettuce is grown. So not from the ocean. And then, um, so what, do, what we do is we take this algae that's grown in fresh water and we air dry it without high heat, which is very important as you're gonna find out in a minute, uh, as we talk about pigments and antioxidants, uh, enzymes rather, that are destroyed by high heat. We don't use high heat. And then we press them into these little tablets that we call bits because they are bits of food. Bits of food, they're not a supplement. I know they look like a supplement, but they're so nutrient dense that one tablet has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. Now this was why I pursued algae because 
people don't have time to eat vegetables or they don't like them or they give them gas or they fight with their kids or they fight with their husbands. They don't have room in the fridge. They don't live near a grocery store. Uh, they can't afford organic. There's a thousand reasons why people aren't eating vegetables. This solves the problem. You never have to eat another vegetable again if you don't want to because you get all the nutrients. There's 40 vitamins and minerals. We're going to talk about that in each of the two algae and they're so concentrated it gives you very high value it's the most nutrient dense food in the world we sell our algae in single serving pouches and large bags the bar large bags that you see here they're the most popular there's a thousand tablets in there and using the um uh quote from nasa that one al one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of fruits and vegetables i calculated that one of our bags of a thousand tablets has the same nutrition as 551 pounds of vegetables. Now think about it, 551 pounds of vegetables that you didn't have to carry home from the grocery store, that you didn't have to clean, cook, eat, throw out, argue with your kids. And if you bought those 551 pounds of vegetables at $3 a pound, it would have cost you $1,600. A bag of our algae tablets is normally $125, but we have a 20% discount code for you that'll bring it down to $100. So if you took 10 a day, which is what we recommend, I mean, you could take five if you wanted, that equals three months of vegetables right there in that bag. By the way, they never go bad ever, ever, ever. They, we have an expiry date on, they last three months, but they never go bad. So very nutrient dense and very cost effective. Normally if uh, at $125 a bag, 10 tablets would cost you $1.25 a day, but with your discount code, it brings it down to a dollar. Um, that's five and a half pounds of vegetables for a dollar a day. This, as you're going to find out, is going to protect your mitochondria, your health, your immune system, your brain, absolutely everything for just a dollar a day. There is, and they're so easy to take. If you can swallow water, you can get the nourishment you need in seconds. They're great to travel with. They're great to take to, uh, when you're commuting. They're great to take to the gym. Uh, you can chew them. Most people swallow them because they, they're very green flavored. But if you like, if you're used to eating greens, you might like the flavor. I chew mine. I, I mix the chlorella particularly with pistachio nuts or macadamia nuts or sea salt, and they taste delicious. Spirulina, which is the blue one, um, most people do swallow that one. But it's effortless nutrition. This is the future of fast food. It doesn't get any more nourishing, natural, holistic, pure, safe. It's, it's vegan, it's keto, it's paleo. <laughs> it works with every, every age group, every lifestyle, period. So we're gonna talk about the two algae, spirulina and chlorella. Now keep in mind, there's tens of thousands of other strains, but if you go to Costco or Whole Foods, 99.9% .9 of the algae you see for sale there are either spirulina or chlorella. These are the two that are harvested as food crops. And most of them, sadly, is grown, are grown in China, where the quality control is very poor. You'll learn more about that in a minute. Um, so uh, we grow ours in Taiwan, and we are the only company that um, this is all we sell. Other companies sell lots of other supplements. They don't pay us the same kind of attention. I mean, th this is a passion project for me. So I've done everything to ensure the quality and the safety for you. Uh, we do not sell through GNCs and chain stores, because the quality is so high, we sell through doctors, chiropractors, functional medicine. Uh, we're now getting into spas and um, uh, cryotherapy, but we, we sell only where there's a, a lot of care being given. And we do third party lab tests because our doctors need to know for sure that this is safe for their patients. So spirulina is an energizing and nourishing algae. It's energizing and uh, in the moment, it gives you mental energy, physical energy, but more importantly, it's energizing at the cellular level. Uh, and we're going to talk about that uh, uh, later on. It is so nourishing, it can replace most of your supplements, your multivitamin, your collagen has more collagen than collagen powder. It can replace CoQ10, biotin. So ultimately it will save you money. And chlorella has the highest chlorophyll in the world. Chlorophyll, as you're going to find out, it's very healing, very nourishing, very cleansing. And uh, it, this, if you take chlorella every day, and I hope you take both of them, um, you will not have to eat vegetables again because it has the highest amount of chlorophyll in the world, 500 times more than 
um, even arugula. Um, so most people want to be energized and, and they their hunger met in the morning or the afternoon. So we generally say spirulina in the morning and chlorella, as you're going to find out, is a wellness detox algae, which and your body does that when you're sleeping. So we generally say chlorella at night. So AM and PM, spirulina in the morning, chlorella at night. Now I'm, I'm showing you this slide because um, we, we don't talk much in our in the Western world about pigments. Um, maybe you do in Chinese medicine, but they have amazing healing properties. And I'm going to just touch on a couple here and we'll go into greater depth later. The blue spirulina is called a blue green algae because it has two pigments. It has a blue one, which is called phycocyanin. It's a uh, hard word to spell, P-H-Y-C-O-C-A-N-I-N-I-N. -I -I -N. I'll be selling, sending you the this deck so that you can share it with your community later on. But that blue fig pigment, phycocyanin, is water-based, so it disperses evenly, as you can see in the picture. And it has proven, not conjecture, proven to stop cancer, kill cancer cells. In fact, this is what chemotherapy companies use in their chemotherapy treatments. They use phycocyanin because as you're gonna find out, it triggers something in your body that causes ap apoptosis, which is programmed cell death. And it only triggers it for in sick, dying and cancer cells. It leaves all the healthy cells alone. And the analogy I make is that you know if you ever have any of that bubble wrap and you pop one of those bubbles, right? You just pop the one bubble, but the rest of the bubble wrap stays fine. So the blue spirulina, the phycocyanin in spirulina, literally pops and kills the cancer, sick or dying cells and completely leaves all your healthy cells alone. This alone should be why you should be taking this every single day for the rest of your life because everybody has cancer they don't always turn into a, a sick, uh, a, they don't progress, but we all have cancer cells. And if you have a strong immune system, it will, it will protect you and fight back the cancer cells. But what we're finding is in this toxic world that we live in, our immune systems are struggling because there's toxic overload. And so people's immune system are not protecting them like they used to. This is your safety hatch. This is your lifeline. This is your health insurance to ensure you do not either get cancer or if you have it, that you can fight it back and you can keep it at bay. The other pigment is, chlor is chlorophyll, which is in both the blue energy bits and the green chlorella, but uh, I'll address just the chlorella um, uh, in recovery bits. So you see how it doesn't disperse evenly like the blue pigment? That's because chlorophyll is a fat-based pigment and water and fat don't mix. Water and oil don't mix. And this is really important for you to know because your health all starts at the cell and on the cell wall. Your cell walls are made of lipids, which is a fancy way of saying fats. So this is why you need omega-3s and Ds and Es to keep your cell wall healthy with healthy fats. Well, chlorophyll is a fat too. So it heals your cell wall just like an omega-3 would. And chlorella algae has the highest chlorophyll in the world. It has 25 times more chlorophyll than even liquid chlorophyll. And it has a lot of other healing benefits that we'll talk about as well, um, like building your immune system. But I want you to see, and you can do this at home if you have this, you know, the two algae, just put them in a plate. I did this experiment almost 50 times before I learned about the difference uh, between the two pigments and one was water-based and one was uh, fat-based. By the way, that blue pigment, phycocyanin, also uh, prevents the, um, a the COVID virus from getting into your cells because it sits on top of your ACE2 receptor cell, which is where the virus um, comes in. Okay, so spirulina by the way, is a bacteria. We're gonna get into this in again in greater detail. Chlorella is does belong to the plant kingdom. So spirulina does not have a cellulose wall. There is zero fiber, zero fiber. This is important because there's nothing for your body to break down to get access to all the 40 vitamins and minerals and all the healing nutrients, including that pigment we just talked about. Um, and there's lots of other benefits to this blue pigment. Uh, it's As I said, it's proven to be anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, anti, -cancer, anti uh, oxidant, and I've put as many links in there as possible, but there are literally thousands more. Um, 
And the, here's the long list. And we'll get into, again, another deeper slide later on about these healing properties of phycocyanin. It doesn't exist anywhere else in nature, just spirulina. And as you're going to find out also, it's damaged by high heat. And virtually all the other algae companies use high heat to dry their algae because they are lower priced, higher volume algae companies. So they need to get to market quickly, which kills the phycocyanin. So you, it may be a blue green algae, but you're not getting the healing benefits of the phycocyanin. And we'll, you're going to learn more about how, how powerful it is. So, um, spirulina also has the highest protein in the world. Now, animal protein is all bound up, as you can see in the slide here. So it takes days to get into your system. Collagen powder is in smaller clusters called peptides. Algae is in individual aminos. Um, so this alone, uh, the fact that it can get absorbed and is more bioavailable than any other source of protein is important. Um, but it also has the highest amount of protein in the world. And it's a complete protein. Collagen is not a complete protein. It's missing tryptophan. Algae has 18 of the 20 aminos, including the nine that your body can't make. And it is the only sustainable um, source of protein compared to collagen and animal protein. Okay, so let's talk about chlorella. Chlorella does belong to the plant kingdom. It does have fiber. In fact, it and it has a hard cell wall. Uh, it's, the cell wall is so hard that it attaches to toxins and pulls them out. This is what pulls out lead, mercury, radiation, aluminum, alcohol, lactic acid. Um, and its green pigment is chlorophyll, which you know, you're familiar with and we already talked about a little bit. Chlorophyll strengthens your lymphatic system, your immune system. It optimizes your liver. Uh, it helps with your gut biome because it has that fiber in it. So, um, and, and it still does, and it has the highest glutathione in the world, which also removes um, uh, toxins from your body. So chlorella is a plant, uh, spirulina is a bacteria, the, uh, they have different pigments that do different things. And when we talk about chlorophyll, one thing I need you to know is that the chemical composition of chlorophyll is almost identical to your hemoglobin. There's the picture on the chart on the slide. The only difference is your blood has iron in the middle. That's what carries oxygen. And chlorophyll has magnesium in the middle. Chlorophyll is essential. It builds your blood. It builds your immune system. It's very alkalining. It's, this is why my sister's oncologist wanted her to have an alkaline diet because it would include more greens. And this is what the greens do. They build your blood. They, they, and by the way, your cells need to be slightly alkaline and uh, at 7.1 and your blood needs to be even more alkaline at 7.34 uh, to protect your health, stop cancer and make sure that your hemoglobin is able to function and carry oxygen. So the fact that chlorella has the highest chlorophyll in the world and that chlorophyll is absolutely critical for your health and your healing um, is pretty important stuff. A few other kind of fun things is that both algae have the highest collagen in the world. They have more collagen than collagen powder. Um, and it's again, the most sustainable for source. It's better for you than fish oil. People take a lot of fish oil for the omega-3 and I remind them, where do you think the fish get the omega-3 from? They get it from algae, they just consolidate it. But most fish oil is rancid by the time you buy it and it's also damaging the oceans. So switch to al algae, especially spirulina. Spirulina has more essential fatty acids in it than uh, chlorella does. Um, but this way you'll, be, you'll never go, it'll never go rancid. So it'll, it's, all, it's so anti-inflammatory fish oil. If it's rancid, is inflammatory. So it sort of defeats the purpose of taking it. Um, it's better for you than CBD. It reduces inflammation just like CBD does, but there's absolutely zero uh, legal issues to worry about. Um, and it is far better for you than gummies or a multivitamin. Those are made in factories with high heat and extracts of nutrients. Extracts don't exist in nature. And so your body absorbs like maybe 10% of it. So you're, you know, it's expensive pee and also high heat uh, damages the nutrients and you're not getting the full value. So um, gummies and multivitamins are not my favorite thing. Algae has the highest nutrition in the world in every single category. It's like, it's like the, you know, we just had the Oscars and there was that one movie, everyone, everywhere, every time that kind of swept all the awards. Well, if there was every nutritional award given, algae would sweep the awards as well. It doesn't matter whether you're talking protein, collagen, vitamins, minerals, polyphenols, uh, essential fatty acids, 
um, and special antioxidants like the, we're going to talk about three, glutathione, melatonin, superoxidismase, algae has the highest in the world of all of them. And so uh, it's very high value nutrition and very high bioavailable. So that gives you like a summary of algae. I'm sure it's way more than you ever thought about. You may have thought that algae was just something that clogged up your favorite beach or that you put in your smoothie because you knew it was a superfood. But I'm telling you, it does way more. That's just the opening act. It does way more than that. And uh, we'll get into the a deeper dive on the science now that we're switching over to mitochondria. Um, so let me talk to you about what mitochondria are, and then you'll get a better sense of how critical it is that you protect them. Because when you protect them, they will protect you. And that's where the miracle happens. When your mitochondria are looked after, that means your health is looked after, your longevity is looked after, your immune system is looked after, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what are mitochondria? Well, they're known as the powerhouse of the cell because they generate cellular energy. It's called ATP. Um, they're in all of your cells and they determine your health. Full stop. You, are, you and your cells can't live without your mitochondria. Um, and and uh, mitochondria and ATP are like money. The more you have, the better. You have more choices when you have more mitochondria. You have uh, uh, um, more options. And that's what we want when, uh, for our health too. We want to live longer and we want to live better. But why are so mitochondria so important? Well, the cellular energy, which is called ATP, is used for everything. It's used for the things that you may think about, like walking and talking, but they also manage your blood flow, your heartbeat, your digestion, your sleeping, your immune system. There is not a single thing in your body that doesn't require ATP. Um, just like your cell phone, you have to plug it in to get charged. And if you don't have electricity, you're not going to have any connection. If you don't have ATP, you're basically dead. It's just the way it is. But the problem is, um, well, we're happy about the ATP being produced, but the downside of ATP production is that free radicals are created as a byproduct. Just like, you know, you see a car driving by with exhaust. That's a byproduct of maybe someone who hasn't cleaned up their muffler. And when you have free radicals being produced, as you do at the mitochondria, because the mitochondria is where the action is, they damage the mitochondria DNA. You didn't probably know this, but your mitochondria have their own DNA. And there's only 17 of them compared to 25,000 of your regular DNA. But these 12, 17 control absolutely everything in your body. And when they get damaged, they cause aging and disease. Uh, so, you, so healing them improves health and longevity in your immune system. And so when your free radicals are, are damaging your mitochondria, they cause what's called oxidative stress. Um, we're going to get into this in a minute. But algae prevents this, not only prevents this damage, it repairs it. That's pretty cool. And this oxidative stress is the cause of everything. All cardiovascular, all brain health issues, cancers, it doesn't matter what it is, oxidative stress. And where is this oxidative stress occurring? Everywhere. You have 37 trillion cells 100,000 trillion mitochondria. And think about this. Your highest concentration of mitochondria are where your greatest energy needs are. And the highest is in your brain. You have 2 million mitochondria per cell in your brain. That's a pretty packed cell, right? 2 million per cell. Uh, the next highest actually is uh, uh, the retina in women's eggs because uh, the retina is very concentrated because of what it has to do the uh, women's eggs, of course, takes a lot of energy to build a new body. And then the next one is your heart with 8,000 mitochondria per cell. Your muscles are the next one after that, 5,000. Now, your regular skin cell or fat cell could be maybe just 100 mitochondria. The highest amount of mitochondria are where the highest energy needs are. And so when you're thinking, or, um, uh, you know, in fact, a book was just published called Brain Energy by Dr. Brian Palmer. Um, Christopher Palmer, sorry. He's a psychiatrist at the Harvard um, Medical School. And he, in his book, he talks about how all brain issues, it doesn't matter whether it's Alzheimer's, dementia, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, is because of mitochondria disease. Why? Because you've got so many mitochondria in your brain that when they get damaged and disease, um, they, they interfere with absolutely everything. 
So how do the mitochondria get so damaged? Well, I'm going to show you this. You know, here's a picture of a cell. Okay, now remember, I just said there's, um, and in this cell, you have your nucleus. That's the purple thing. Um, and these little peanut-shaped things are your mitochondria. Now, remember, there's 2 million of these little peanut-shaped things per cell in your brain. Crazy, right? Now, inside that mitochondria, this is where the ATP is produced. And so if you drill down inside the, the, the mitochondria, um, uh, the, free, the ATP is produced, but a byproduct is where uh, is free radicals. And here's the real problem. Your mitochondria DNA are also located right inside where those free radicals are produced. Now, your regular DNA is way over here in the cheap seats, <laughs> in, the, in the middle of your cell, nowhere near where the free radicals or ATP are produced. That's why your regular DNA lasts a lifetime. Your mitochondria DNA lasts an average of about 10 to maybe 15 days because they are constantly being damaged and killed by the free radicals. Um, I'm not going to do too much on this slide because it's a little bit too, probably too complex, but inside your mitochondria um, is this thing called the electron transport chain, which is actually what generates the uh, ATP for you. Um, and when these, and when your mitochondria get damaged, as you're going to see, um, those, there's these, there's five steps. There's these, you know, there's a little picture down here, five steps. Here's the mitochondria. Here's a little subsection of it, five steps. Now, when your mitochondria get damaged, uh, well, let's back up. When you have healthy mitochondria, these like five steps are located really close to, together. It's sort of like, you know, if uh, Tom Brady was throwing a pass uh, and during a football game, his, his people, his receiver would be right there to catch it and, you know, touchdown. So healthy mitochondria, everything's working. All the electrons that go from one, two, three, four, five to generate ATP for you is working. But when you have unhealthy mitochondria, because they've been damaged from free radicals or a variety of other things, what happens is it stretches out the mitochondria. And now those little stations where they're supposed to be, Tom Brady's supposed to do a tight pass, are further away from one another. This makes it hard for him to have a pass and a touchdown because they're too far away from one another. And so when they're passing electrons from one to another, more of them get dropped. And when they get dropped, they, they are oxidized. So this causes even more free radical damage and called um, uh, oxidative stress. So it's a, a, a situation that once you get into having healthy, unhealthy mitochondria, it just gets worse and worse and worse because there's more and more damage occurring because the electrons aren't being transferred. Um, so you have what's called leakage. And because also they're not transferring, you have less energy being produced because they can't they can't make the pass. So it's it's a very uh, disturbing uh, scenario. This is what this is an actual photo. This is exactly what it looks like. The mitochondria cell on the left is a healthy one, and you see how all the cells are all connected uh, inside. And the one on the right is a damaged uh, mitochondria where there's so much damage that there's the free the um, the eight the molecules as they're being passed along that electron transport chain uh, can't get passed and so they get there's more and more damage creating more and more free radical leakage uh, which causes more and more damage and it's just an onward cycle. This is why when your mitochondria DNA get sick, damage or die, your health crashes because they aren't able to function properly. They can't sell send said send cell signals to one another. They alert um, the rest of your body that something's not working. And um, then they, they, your cells start dying and you know you lose more mitochondria as you get older. As we'll talk about that in a minute. So you need to heal your mitochondria. Healing your mitochondria is the answer to healing your health, period, full stop. And you can spend the rest of your life on PubMed, Google uh, Scholar, and every single um, scientific document will pretty much tell you the same thing. So what I'm telling you is absolutely the truth. So you've got to heal your mitochondria in order to heal your health. Now there's two ways you can do it because what's going on is the, that DNA, the mitochondria DNA are located exactly where the ATP is produced, which is exactly where the free radicals are produced. So. They're, they're, they're this ringside. And if you've ever sat near a fire 
uh, and got too close to a bonfire or a fireplace um, and sparks would fly, you, you know, you can get burned, right? Same thing's happening. Your mitochondria DNA are too close to the fire. The, the fire is actually those free radicals. So two techniques you can follow to protect and heal your mitochondria. One is to reduce the free radicals and two is to remove them. And I'm gonna go through both of them and explain to you why algae helps you do both. So in terms of reducing free radicals, your um, carbs are the biggest generator of free radicals. Um, so that's why you have more and more leakage between those little stations in that, um, in that electron transport chain. So the simplest thing is just to reduce your carbs. You don't have to go on a keto diet, although that helps, but just get rid of processed carbs, anything white, bread, pasta, um, and you will just have fewer free radicals, period. But an even, if you want to up level, a better and even better step is to take algae and to do intermittent fasting or plain old fasting because there's virtually no free radicals. You'll never get to a point of zero free radicals because just the fact that you are breathing uh, will cause free radicals to be released. But you want to reduce the excess free radicals because it's the excess that are causing the damage. So, so algae helps you with that. By the way, when you take algae because it's so full of protein and vitamins and minerals, it satisfies your hunger. It doesn't interfere with intermittent fasting because there's zero carbs. So that's pretty cool. The next step is to remove the free radicals. But here's the problem. You can eat a room full of blueberries or vitamin C and none of those antioxidants will get into your mitochondria to stop the free radical damage. Why? Because your mitochondria are the only cells in your body that have two membranes. Every other cell member we mentioned at the very beginning has something called a lipid membrane. The mitochondria have that as well, but they have a second inner membrane that is impenetrable by uh, any traditional antioxidants except the three uh, that are made by your body called the glutathione, melatonin, and superoxidismutase. You may have heard of melatonin, but maybe not the other ones. And the fourth one that can get in there is chlorophyll, although your body doesn't make that. So, so most antioxidants, I mean, you can, as I said, you can eat a room full of blueberries, not a drop of the antioxidants. And there's science that the studies that have done this to prove this. So they cannot get in there, but these three that your body makes Endogenous means that they're made by your body. Um, they, they can get in there plus chlorophyll. And the reason why they can't get in there is because um, they, there isn't something called porins. Porins are in your cell membranes. They're like little channels that allow um, uh, antioxidants and proteins in and out, but there aren't any of these porins in that inner membrane. So that's why the antioxidants can't get in except the ones that your body makes. So the ones your body makes glutathione, melatonin, and superoxidismutase can get in there, which is cool. But the problem is your body stops making them after the age of 30. And the other problem is none of these are very available in food. None of them. None of them are absorbed well by supplements. If you take them by supplements, they get damaged in your stomach lining. And as I mentioned, they are not produced by your body after the age of 30. Until the age of 30, and this is why people start getting ill and chronic disease and immune issues once they hit 30 and 40, and it just escalates after that. Um, because, And the reason I believe is because after the age of 30, your body stops making these antioxidants. You have them from the moment you're born through childhood, teenage years, early 20s and 30s, and then boom, right when you're you've accumulated a lot of toxins, right when your stress levels are the highest, your body stops making these few three antioxidants that can protect you from free radical damage. It seems so unfair, right? And I thought to myself, it doesn't make any sense to me. You know, Mother Nature is so intelligent. Why would our body stop making these three critical antioxidants after the age of 30? So I did some digging around and I found out, well, you know what? Humans have been on earth for 2 million years. And up until the last couple of hundred years ago, we always died at 30. So our biology thinks 
we're going to die at 30. It's not prepared for the fact that we're now living till 80, 90, 100. And so it's not set up to defend you like it did. It thought it only had to defend you until the age of 30 and then, you know, story over. So that's why your body stops making these three antioxidants, but they are essential for protecting you from free radical damage. Without them, your, your health absolutely plummets. And again, this is all studied and it's not just glutathione and superoxidizutase and melatonin that drop, your numbers of mitochondria themselves drop as you get older. And at the same time, as you get live older, you've accumulated more and more toxins. This is the perfect storm right here. 50 to 60 is exactly when cancer is hitting everybody, heart disease, inflammation, uh, uh, Alzheimer's. It's just, it's the combination of excessive toxins and decreased protection of your mitochondria. And that's where the, the rubber hits the road. This is what's causing so much illness. But the good news is you can turn that downward cycle around because both spirulina and, and, and chlorella have the highest glutathione, melatonin, and superoxidase in the world, and also chlorophyll, which is also an antioxidant that can get in there to stop free radical damage. And at the same time, chlorophyll and chlorella in particular pull out toxins. So you can flatline your inflammation and you can get back and restore your health to previous levels. You can be your own Benjamin Button. <laughs> you know, get younger as you get older. It's, it's absolutely possible. Um, I'm uh, evidence of it. I've been taking this for 33 years or thir 13 years rather. And I look younger today than I did. And I feel younger than I did 13 years ago. This is the answer to looking after your health. You look after your mitochondria, they look after you. Um, I'll just flip through these, but I, I do, did have lab tests to show, uh, you've probably heard of glutathione. It's very important. It also pulls out toxins, just like the heart cell wall does in, um, in the chlorella, but we have the highest, the next best is um, spirulina and then avocado and it plummets down to beef. Chlorophyll, highest chlorophyll in the world, as I mentioned, 500 times more than, than um, arugula, uh, 25 times more than liquid chlorophyll. Uh, melatonin, highest melatonin in the world, pistachios are 23 milligrams. A lot of athletes take tart cherry juice because of the melatonin, which is an antioxidant. Um, by the way, melatonin has been in our cells um, since the very beginning, four billion years ago, and it um, has been, it's only 90% uh, of your melatonin is made by your, by your, um, by your uh, mitochondria and used by your mitochondria. 90%, only 10% of your melatonin is made in your pineal gland. And your pineal gland is a recent development. It's just, you know, 200 million years ago that the vertebrae uh, animals grew and we had to have the circadian rhythm monitored. So melatonin is first and foremost an antioxidant that works at the mitochondria level. So uh, and it's been there for 4 billion years. And then this other antioxidant called superoxidismutase, which is an enzyme. Um, it's There are, um, I think, 50,000 studies documenting how superoxidismutase has been proven to stop heart disease proven. So, but you can't get it in any other food. You can't get it as a supplement and voila, there it is the highest concentration in spirulina. So what exactly do these particular special antioxidants do for your mitochondria? Well, they turn those free radicals, especially a very damaging one called superoxidismutase into harmless water. That's it. Uh, so no damage to your mitochondria. Um, absolutely. Uh, the safest way to protect you. It's like having the firemen in there. You know, I use the analogy of, you know, sitting the, the DNA, mitochondria DNA are sitting too close to the fireplace and getting and sparks are flying and they're getting damaged. Well, uh, superoxidinitase, which the highest found is in the spirulina, puts out that fire. So um, it saves you. It literally saves your your mitochondria, which then saves your health, which saves you from having heart disease, it saves you from all sorts of inflammatory diseases. And again, these are proven and, and documented 
in hundreds and thousands of studies. But here's the trick. You can't take just any algae. <laughs> Um, now, I'm referencing mostly spirulina right now, but they are equally, almost as equally as high concentrated in chlorella. But here's the thing. As I mentioned earlier, almost all other algae companies are lower priced than ours. And, and that's because they're high volume. They're sold at Whole Foods and, and uh, you know Costco. Um, so they need to get to market quickly. And usually most companies other than us sell hundreds of other products. We only sell algae. And I only started this because I wanted to help my sister be healthy and then I wanted to help a few more people. So bottom line is every process that we've ever used and that we, I have personally, and I have put everything in place personally is to protect your health. And so 13 years ago, when I heard that high heat was being used to dry algae and I knew a small amount, I knew high heat killed enzymes. And I didn't know about some of these at the time, I'll be honest, but I said, well, we can't do that. So we do not use high heat to dry our algae. So our superoxide dismutase and our phycocyanin are alive and well. And all of the other algae companies, if they use high heat, their, their um, superoxide dismutase is dead because it's an enzyme and high heat over 117 Fahrenheit kills enzymes. So it may have been in there at the beginning. The only other thing that you could use would be frozen spirulina uh, because it also has not had high heat uh, to uh, expose to it. So all of the superoxide dismutase and all of the phycocyanin are alive and well. Trouble is frozen spirulina is very expensive. It's hard to travel with. It expires quickly. It's very messy. Um, you have, it's hard to avoid the flavor. So it's not as easy as taking um, our tablets, which is just you know down the hatch with a glass of water. So, um, and as I mentioned, and this is a science paper that I found and I've referenced the source you lose 50% of the value of the phycocyanin as soon as you start using high temperatures and it drops precipitously after that. So that's why you know, we have um, people, customers who use our product and go and they go, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, you know, maybe a cheaper version. They always come back because they just don't get the same results. They don't feel as good as um, they did when they used ours. So I, again, I'm gonna just, Reemphasize this pigment called phycocyanin because there is no other source of this in the world anywhere, not in any other food, just spirulina. And it has to be raw spirulina like ours. In other words, it can't be exposed to high heat. Now, you may, this cell may throw you off a little bit, and I'm going to just walk you through it because you think, oh, how can you have the word healthy and cell death in the same sentence? Well, you want healthy cell death because um, just think about, uh, you know, if you didn't um, clean out the garbage in your apartment uh, after a week, it would start to get pretty smelly. And so you, you, you need to take out the trash when you, wherever you live. Cell death is like taking out the trash. Your body is so intelligent if it's healthy. And if your mitochondria are healthy, it knows when it's sick, when there's sick cells or when there's maybe cancer cells, and it will trigger something called apoptosis or uh, autophagy, which is healthy cell death. It go, it, it'll say to itself, oops, looks like I'm not looking so good here. Uh, it's like going, it's like retirement, right? They say, well, I'm out of here, you know, goodbye guys. But what it does, it leaves without leaving a trail and a mess. So you, it starts as a healthy cell. It goes, oh, I'm, I'm not feeling so well. And so it, it divides itself into smaller cells, each of which have, you know, the DNA, the mitochondria. And so one cell could become five or six cells, but it does it in a programmed way. Doesn't, you know, doesn't drag their trash out and leave kicking and screaming empty garbage all over the place. Um, so ap, ap, it's called apoptosis is healthy and your body has 30 trillion cells in it. And every day, 30 trillion cells die. And every day, 30 trillion new cells grow. And the great thing is the, the spirulina, which uh, will trigger the um, cleanup crew to get rid of those, the, those uh, sick cells uh, for you. And it has the nourishment that your mitochondria need and your cells need. So when they grow healthy cells, they are much stronger than the ones that were there before. So that's called healthy cell death, apoptosis, or another version is autophagy. 
What is unhealthy is called necrosis. This is um, when, um, this is, these are cancer cells that aren't behaving. They are no longer communicating to the rest of the crew. And so what happens, or maybe you have uh, an injury. And so what happens is they um, it basically explode. And so when they explode, they open up and spill out to the rest of your cell tissue and the rest of your cells, all the stuff that was in there. And there, there could have been some toxins or there were likely toxins, uh, damaged mitochondria. And so now they damage the next string of tissue. You don't want that. You want healthy cell death. And you get that with phycocyanin. It triggers healthy uh, cell death. And again, the best analogy I make is with that bubble wrap. If you pop one of those little bubbles on the, on the bubble wrap, which is what you get with phycocyanin triggering in un, the, um, the sick cells, it leaves the rest of the, of the, um, the um, bubble wrap alone. So here's um, again, that those four little stations that are in the, um, the uh, electron transport chain. And between station three and four is this little cell cell called cytochrome C. It's sort of uh, like a shuttle bus. You know, when you go to the airport and you're, you're almost to your, your gate, but you gotta take a shuttle bus to get there. Well, this cytochrome C is the shuttle bus that carries the electrons from number three to number four. But it also, um, and, and, and uh, this cytochrome C has a very, a second very powerful, valuable, um, uh, um, role. What it does is that it, it, when it's released into your cells, it triggers this apoptosis, uh, which is, which kills the, um, uh, the cancer cells. And this cytochrome C is triggered by phycocyanin. And, and, and so what it does is it goes out and finds the cancer cells and kills them leaves all the good stuff away, but kills them. Uh, this release of cytochrome C is exactly what the cancer drugs are using. They are using phycocyanin in their treatments. You can Google phycocyanin and cancer treatments, and you'll see endless articles documenting this. But who wants to take cancer drugs uh, th that make you sick for months or a year, you lose your hair, you lose everything, you, there's so many healing properties in the phycocyanin that you get just from the spirulina if, for killing the cancer cells. And it does it naturally. You don't have to be paying quarter million dollars to the pharmaceutical industry. You can get this natural release of cytochrome C to kill the sick and dying cells and leave the healthy cells alone. Now, the other interesting thing is when that cytochrome C it, um, is triggered by the phycocyanin, it's basically released. So it doesn't exist any longer. So it can't carry the electrons from transport three to four. This I think is why you get so tired when you have cancer drugs because the cancer cells aren't, they, they, they don't have any energy anymore. There's, well, this is also what contributes to their d d demise. They don't have the energy to grow anymore because that fi final piece is missing, but it still works on all the healthy cells. So it's in, phycocyanin has two critical roles. It um, triggers this cyt cytochrome C that is your the, the carrier shuttle bus to be sure that you have energy being made um, from that in that electron transport chain. And then it triggers the release of apoptosis um, so that it can kill the, um, the cancer cells. If that wasn't good enough, I don't know what is. I mean, we're, there's billions and billions of dollars been spent on trying to find the solution for cancer. And I'm not a doctor and I can't, um, I have to be very careful about what I say. And I probably crossed over the line a little bit, but I'm, all I'm doing is referencing the articles that already talk about phycocyanin and uh, improving that they do trigger cell death of cancer cells or any dying cancer cells. You want to take out the sick and dying cells so the healthy cells have a better chance to grow. And if that wasn't enough for you, reason for you to take algae to improve your immune health and your mitochondria health, consider this. Remember I mentioned that um, algae was the first life on earth 4 billion years ago? Well, it was a cyanobacteria like spirulina. Remember spirulina is a bacteria. And, um, and it was uh, before 
um, when, when spirulina or cyanobacteria rather formed, uh, earth had no oxygen. It was just gas and water. Nobody really knows why this um, single cell anaerobic cell started growing, but it did. And after, and it generated ATP and it released oxygen as a byproduct. So after a billion years, there was now a lot of oxygen on earth. So larger cells could start growing. But now the little anaerobic cell wasn't doing well because it didn't do well, in, it does, did better without oxygen. So I can imagine the conversation going like this. And, and the big cell, by the way, wasn't generating ATP as well. So the big cell says to the little cell, hey, little guy, I see you're struggling there and we, we could use some help with our ATP. So um, how about uh, we join forces, you come and generate ATP for us and we'll protect you from all the oxygen on earth. And that cyanobacteria is what became mitochondria. Your mitochondria evolved from the equivalent of spirulina. They are the same. And it's proven again in something called endosymbiotic uh, science, documented. You can go on Google, you can go on PubMed. Um, it's a pretty much accepted um, uh, acceptance that this, your mitochondria evolved from spirulina. So again, this is another pictorial showing you know the cyanobacteria by itself getting absorbed by the bigger cell and becoming mitochondria. Now this is why there is a second membrane in your mitochondria that doesn't exist anywhere else. It's left over from when it was by itself. When it got absorbed, the bigger cell put a lipid membrane around it, but it did not remove the original membrane. And that original membrane um, is impenetrable to all the, all the other antioxidants, except the ones that your body makes for you, uh, the um, glutathione, melatonin, superoxydesinitase, as well as chlorophyll. Those are the ones that can get in to protect your mitochondria. And it makes complete sense to me because, um, you know, that's where your mitochondria came from. So algae has everything that, um, you know, your, you know, their family, right? So it has everything that your, that your mitochondria need. Um, so this is why our algae, again, not everyone's because everybody else uses high heat. They don't dry as carefully. They don't grow as carefully. Uh, lots of other reasons. They don't do third party lab tests. Our algae protects your mitochondria and when, and, and particularly your mitochondria DNA. And when they're protected, you live longer. And when your mitochondria DNA are protected, you also live healthier. It's a combination of the dense nutrition, the unique pigments, and the and the unique antioxidants that can't be found anywhere else, uh, and that serve you very well in your mitochondria. Um, uh, we're endorsed by doctors nationwide. Customers love us. You know, testimonials all over the place. Uh, I, I'm just going to um, quickly run through just a few other benefits of the algae. I, you know, we'll make sure you have the link so that you can read these yourself. They ensure that your cells have the proper pH, which need to be slightly alkaline, which is what started me on this journey. Um, when my sister's oncologist told her she needed to um, change her diet to an alkaline diet, because it when your cells are slightly alkaline, it ensures there's proper oxygen, which ensures there's proper communication, that ensures that there's proper health and healing going on, and, and will protect you from cancers uh, from taking place. Cancer cannot, exist in an alkaline environment. Dr. Otto Warburg won a Nobel Prize in 1931 for discovering this. Um, and your blood needs to be more alkaline than your cells. So it's very, very important. And algae is the most alkaline food in the world. Um, it, the, the importance for your brain health can't be understated. It's a combination of the phycocyanin, the superoxydismatase, the high essential fatty acid. Brain health is big topic right now, rightfully so. And there's, uh, we're just finishing up some clinical trials uh, to prove that um, our spirulina reduces inflammation. And when you reduce inflammation in your brain, you're going to have um, a longer telomeres, you're going to have healthier mitochondria, everything works better. Um, we've got lots of um, great links in there. It helps with your bone health. Um, particularly for women, we have smaller bones, so we tend to get osteoporosis. Um, uh, and a lot of bone uh, density is due, lack of bone density is due to um, acidic meals because when you're eating acidic foods, your bone, your blood needs to neutralize that acidity and it pulls out minerals from your bones to neutralize that. Um, your bones are 
are living. They, they're constantly changing just like all your other cells. And so when you give your body nourishment, you're going to have better bone density, better um, bone um, flexibility. It's the protein and the minerals that make your bones healthy. Uh, sleep health, it's amazing for sleep health. Again, um, your sleep is critical for your longevity, for your immunity, for all of your wellness, because that's when your body is doing a repair and detox cycle. We generally recommend chlorella at night before you go to bed because it has the highest tryptophan in the world, which is a precursor to melatonin. It helps you with your sleep. It also stimulates uh, peristalsis, which is the bowel movement. Um, the chlorophyll is very cleansing, removes toxins, flushes out all sorts of toxins from your brain um, and from your cells. It stimulates um, healthy gut bacteria. And of course, you know there's a connection between your gut and your brain through the vagus nerve. So healthy sleep is critical. Immune health, you know, we, we've seen what's gone on with our health in the last few years, the COVID. Having a strong immune system is critical to protecting yourself from any uh, situation, health situation, whether it's COVID or cancer. Um, and our algae has all of the nutrients that your, um, your immune system needs. 90, 80% of your immune system is in your gut. Uh, it's basically your bacteria. And so um, chlorella in particular is used for immunity for that purpose. It's also used for gut health, IBS, Crohn's disease. So I tell people if you need ways to remember how to, um, which each algae does, you know, spirulina, the blue one is, you know, AM is, AM is when you have it because you want energy and hunger satisfied in the morning and chlorella at night, the recovery bits because it, it pulls out toxins and builds your immune system. But another way to think about it is think of the spirulina, the energy bits as top down because it has so much uh, for brain health. Spirulina is the best in the world for brain health, Alzheimer's, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, doesn't matter what it is. So top down and chlorella, because it builds your immune system and your gut and your stomach and your digestion is bottoms up. So top down, bottoms up. Um, it, well, here's gut health. So we sort of already talked about that. It helps with bowel movements. It will help you with weight loss. We don't promote it as a weight loss um, product, but it will help you because it has... 40 vitamins and minerals, the highest protein in the world. So it satisfies your hunger. There's only one calorie per tablet. Very often when you go on a diet, um, you cut out quantities of food and a variety of food, which means that you're often very hungry and you're not getting the nourishment you need. So you end up craving things, um, which throws you off. There's one calorie per tablet. So you could have 20 or 30 if you wanted for lunch and uh, 20 or 30 calories in your entire Need, uh, nutritional needs are met uh, instantly. There'll be no cravings. Um, and by the way, chlorella does help with weight loss as well, the recovery bits, because um, your fat, your body stores your toxins in your fat. And so as you lose fat, um, your body goes, oh, well, I guess I don't need that um, anymore. So spirulina will get you across the finish line by reducing your hunger, keeping you nourished, keeping you focused. And then the chlorella is the sort of your sidekick uh, to get rid of the toxins. Cause as you lose fat, you do not want those toxins sitting around, right? You got to get rid of them. It's like, you got to clean out your room <laughs> when you're, when you move to a new house, very often, that's when you throw out all the junk in your trunk. So same thing when you're on a, if you're on a weight loss program, it's spring, it's a great time to do it. Um, as you use spirulina to manage your hunger and your, your, um, nutritional needs, definitely be taking chlorella at night to pull out the toxins that have been released as your body um, got rid of that fat. Uh, terrific for keto. It's documented to be keto, ketogenic, great for fasting, does not interfere with your fasting, zero carbs, especially the spirulina, um, gets into your bloodstream instantly because again, no cellulose wall. Athletes use it. Um, it. It stops you from having those sort of keto flu symptoms. It's just, I call it your health insurance. It's also your nutritional insurance. In seconds, it gets into your bloodstream and uh, you'll feel better um, instantly. It helps prevent diabetes too, which is caused by you know, mitochondrial dysfunction, which then also stimulates um, more uh, problems with um, uh, your uh, uh, insulin resistance, which causes more dis dysfunction in your mitochondria. So it's a um, bad scene overall and it prevents that. 
um, energy bits. We wouldn't have called it energy bits if it didn't give you energy. It's it's physical energy, mental energy, cellular energy. Uh, it improves your fitness. Uh, gives you all of the iron you need for oxygen, B vitamins that convert the aminos into energy. But it's that cellular energy. And again, think of cellular energy like money. You can't have too much money. You can't have too much cellular energy. Um, if you take spirulina. Uh, and then you decide to go to bed, you'll have a great sleep because your cellular energy is directing the nourishment to sleeping. If you decide to go for a run, you'll have a great run. It's not a stimulant. There's no caffeine, chemicals, or sugar. It's uh, Cellular energy is a concept people are, um, probably are not familiar with, but you will over, you know, coming in the future because it's where um, all of the action is. Cellular energy generates uh, effective uh, ATP production, which heals your, helps generate, which is what generates energy and keeps your mitochondria working properly. Skin health, let's not you know forget that as we age, if we haven't protected our skin from the inside, um, we're going to have wrinkles, uh, collagen and elastin get damaged. Um, and you know, this is this is nourishment from the inside. This is this will do more for your skin than any topical cream that you can put on on your skin. Obviously, you need to protect yourself from excessive sun damage, and sleep is also very healing to your skin, and so is water. But um, you know, you, free radicals damage your skin just like they damage your mitochondria because because the mitochondria are in your skin. Remember, <laughs> so you want to be sure that um, you're nourishing your skin from the inside. Um, and algae both increases the skin collagen and protects it. Um, it also protects your elastin, which is the scaffolding that keeps your skin up uh, and which can be damaged by excess calcium or free radicals. Um, and let's not forget Mother Earth. You know, uh, we've been sort of, um, you know, releasing too many toxins and in, in, in not paying attention to her for a long time. It's time we change it around. Um, and self-care is earth care. If you're taking the time to look after yourself, um, it will translate into earth health because algae is the most sustainable crop in the world. It provides 80% of the oxygen on earth. It uses a third of the water that uh, traditional crops use. And by the way, they can reuse the water because it kills bacteria. Um, there is zero, um, zero waste, zero. Uh, it's, um, it's the, it can generate so much for our world and um, you can get 10 crops a year of algae because it grows in water uh, instead of just one a year of crappy corn that has no nutritional uh, value whatsoever. Um, I, you know, it's used in cryotherapy, all this pop over that. Red light um, people use it as well because it, um, it, it recycles the CoQ10 molecule because so it generates actual energy. Um, I know we're running out of time, so I'll just bang through these. We do have two spirulina tablet brands. One is Energy Bits, which was the original. And the second one is Beauty Bits. I'm not trying to trick anybody. They are absolutely the same, but we found that women just didn't like the packaging of the Energy Bits. And I started the company because of my sister and because it does build your skin and hair. Um, and I wanted women to feel comfortable with the product. So I I design everything, by the way. Um, I created a second brand and called it Beauty Bits. And people, the women love it. And it's very popular at spas. So, but they are absolutely identical. Um, chlorella is the uh, recovery bits. This is the green package because it's in a, it's a green algae. Spirulina is in a blue package because it's a blue green algae. I'm trying to help you out to figure out what's going on. And Vitality Bits is a blend of the two algae. And we did this because some people wanted both benefits, but they didn't want to have to think about, you know, timing and which ones to take. So um, if simplicity is your goal, this is the tablet for you. Um, you just need to take twice as much because you're getting half as much in each of the tablets. So they're, they're, it's a blended tablet. So it's not like half spirulina, and half chlorella. Um, we are the only in the first premium brand of algae tablets in the world. What does that mean? The premium? Well, that we've gone extra extra miles, extra distance to ensure your safety, uh, the purity, the quality, um, the documentation, third-party lab tests. Um, it's it, uh, it's truly a nutritional breakthrough. It's been around for four billion years, but uh, I, you know I pride myself, and we do uh, all of us at, at Energy Bits on educating you so that you can understand that we're not just trying to sell you stuff. We want you to truly learn and understand how your body works, 
what's causing the problem and why algae, what algae is and why it is the perfect solution to all of these health issues. Um, it's so documented. And the problem is the science has been around, but scientists like to talk to other scientists. And so um, because I'm, I call myself a citizen scientist, I'm completely self-taught. Um, I know what it feels like not to know any science. The good news is I enjoy, in fact, I love digging into PubMed and reading more and more articles. Everybody's on the beach and I'm reading yet another article about algae or metabolic health. But I then translate it into language that I hope makes it easier for you to understand. But don't be, um, don't be, don't be fooled that my simplicity means I don't know the, what's really going on. I do have the science and I'm happy to share that with you. It's the most sustainable crop in the world. We are very careful where we sell the product. Our packaging, I designed it to be as vibrant and attractive to you as what the algae does inside your body. But I can't get you to health if I can't get the algae into you. So um, I want you to know that it's not weird. It, um, it's in fact, it's not new at all. It's just new to you. So, um, you know, as I said, we're the first around and that's me and um, I was on Shark Tank and blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's how to reach us. But um, so in summary, as I said, um, algae isn't new. It's just new to you. And just like, you know, five or 10 years ago, you didn't know about collagen powder or kiwa or chia or matcha. Um, somebody had to educate you about it. And then suddenly it was everywhere. Um, it's algae's turn now. You can't keep this down. There's actually a fairly large algae community globally. Um, and we're probably the ones that are doing the most. I know, I know we are. We're probably, in fact, we're the only ones helping you understand what this is. Uh, it's not pond scum. It is a nutritional rock star that will change your life, protect your health, and give you and your family uh, the most effortless nutrition so that you can go on and continue living your life and uh, not giving anything up. So um, that's that's my story. <laughs> Thank you so much, Catherine. I learned a ton. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited to share this replay tomorrow. And I just, if, if I have a good interview, I really push it. So I'm going to be like sharing the replay on the newsletter. Like you've got to watch this. I I mean, this information just frankly gets me so excited. Yeah, uh, it's pretty just amazing. So, yeah, there's so much potential. I have a 14 year old son who, of course, won't eat many vegetables. Or yeah. Or yeah. So I'm going to have him just, I'm going to put the two tins in his room and just be like, just take just yeah. take a few of these in the morning, yeah. a few of these at night. Uh, I just had a client who's 73, um, oh. launched too many supplements. Yeah. Lots, and I was like, I'm going to have you take the spirulina and the chlorella because it's simple. It covers so many bases. Yeah. So just so much use. Do you have time for just two questions? That yes. Came and I want to be sure we share your discount code, functional detox, all one word. Um, so go to energybits.com and type in functional detox into the coupon box and you'll get 20% off. Um, I, I don't have too much time, but I can answer a couple of questions. Okay, just two questions. One was on um, the Vitality Bits, since they're a mix, is there any preference on when to take them? Well, you can take them, you know, and, and so when I take, say take them in the morning or the afternoon, uh, it's that's only based on w what people need. So, um, you know, you can take spirulina energy bits at night. You can take them anytime you want, but most people are hungry and tired in the morning. So that's why we suggest taking in, uh, morning. And most people, well, all of us, we detox and repair when we're sleeping. So to get the best repair, we take the chlorella. So for the, the blended version, t take them both times, take them anytime. It's just, okay. um, you know, you don't have as it's not a hundred percent of one or the other. So it's, um, and there's no upper limit. You know, we have NHL players who take 75 uh, spirulina before a game and 75 <laughs> chlorella after a game to pull it talk. You know, wow. Amazing. It's, Amazing. It's, it's food. It's really, it's food. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, other question was if someone's just wanting to take them for health maintenance, what dose do you like? I know that's, yeah. You know. So um, 10, I, I would, you know, if you want to start at five, you could, you won't feel much with five of each, but 10, 10 you'll, for wellness, um, nourishment and wellness. If you have a health condition of any kind, cancer, heart disease, gut issues, brain fog, I don't care what it is, skin issues, 
you need to be taking closer to 20 to 30 of each one um, for, you know, at least three months, three to six months, you know, and I hesitate to tell you, but uh, people get the wrong impression, but I, I've had over a hundred a day for 13 years. So there's, wow. it's, it, it's food. Yeah. I mean, it's food. Yeah. So, um, it work and it works and it's, it works anecdotally and it works. Um, the science proves that it works. So, <laughs> Yeah. And I would say from my little experience is, you know, take the dose that gets the result you want. Yeah. So, you know, I don't think I'm taking enough spirulina yet because I still have some issues with like brain fatigue and en energy. So I'm like, I got to up that yeah. exercise recovery. Uh, I don't seem to need as many of the nighttime the recover bits. Um, but like some nights I'm like, I'm wound up. I'm going to take I'm going to take eight tonight or what have you. So um, I take a little extra. So you you get to feel it and, yeah. and experience it. And um, for the chlorella, as I said, you know, five or 10 a day um, would get you the wellness. For detox, you need 20 to 30. You will not get a detox with just 10. Oh, because, interesting. Okay. Yeah. And um, Dr. Uh, Klinghart, who's a big proponent of chlorella, um, uh, he's every, anybody knows anything about chlorella is the same thing because the chlorella will pull the toxins out of the cells. But if you don't have enough chlorella, it will not pull them all the way out of your body. We had a customer actually call me yesterday and she's been taking eight chlorella at night and she's having stomach distress. And I said, well, number one, um, it could be a symptom of, um, detox symptoms, stomach distress. But when I found out, you know, she was only taking the eight and I said, well, here's the problem. It's pulling out the, the, the toxins from your cells, but then it's dropping them into your bloodstream. And mm. there's not enough to carry them all the way out. So, so she's just recycling the toxins. So the toxins are what's causing her the stomach distress. So um, I suggested she do, you know, 30, 20 or 30 for a week um, and see if that got rid of the toxins. Because once the toxins are out, then you're really in a maintenance, you know, program, although we're surrounded by toxins and everything. <laughs> yeah. But the, yeah, we have some clients really like going through a serious mold detox. So they, they should aim more at 30. Yeah. It sounds like so. 20, that's fantastic. Yeah. And I know we've had you. Oh, go ahead. The chlorella actually tastes pretty good. So um, the spirulina, not so much. So uh, it can be your bedtime snack, you know, put some sea salt on it or um i i have a salt and vinegar flavor pistachio nut that i use oh my god they're delicious and if you're keto take them with um mm. uh a pistachio uh, sorry uh, um macadamia nuts they're del absolutely delicious <laughs> i love that because sometimes i'm like a little too hungry to fall asleep you know i can't yeah. fall asleep too hungry yeah. so yeah. that's a great tip um i don't want to keep you i know this was like super generous with your time and these slides must have taken you forever plus all the hours you put into okay. to making I'm them yeah i and love it i you know my my audience loves it too they just want to really understand like that that what this does and we're gonna keep talking about these for yeah. years to come so yeah. i'm just yeah. so glad we yeah. connected like this yeah and um i just updated that the presentation for you so oh we'll, thank you we'll send you the new link tomorrow uh well it's the same okay. link to the update the slide deck that would be fantastic yeah. i think yeah. people really like because it's hard to see yeah. you know every little detail yeah. um yeah i think there's and i'll i'll for my audience i'll keep talking about sort of how to combine this and incorporate it with your program because yeah. i think there's some very exciting ways um to think about it so yeah. Um, thank you again, Catherine. I'm You're just welcome. touched that you gave us your time and we'll be in touch. Let's You're keep welcome. collaborating. Thank you for all that you do. <laughs> it's a lot of yeah. us. Thanks around. everybody who is live and uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye everybody. Bye-bye.